If I have learned anything in this life, it is that love is not always loud. Love does not always give carnation bouquets or Belgium truffle chocolates. Love does not run through airports or send you secret signals from across the bar. Love isn't wrapped up in a tropical vacation package or finished within a 90 minute movie, at least in my experience. Maybe I'm just not the type to love loudly. To me, love is soft. Love is patient. Love is putting the foil over someone else's food so they have leftovers to take home. Love is doing the dishes so your sister doesn't have to. Love is hanging pictures of your friends on the walls of your room. A way to say, I wish I could see you every day. I know that I can't, so I've made this place for you here. Love is your dad giving you his jacket as you sleep in the back seat of the car. Love is your mother not discounting the many imaginations you tell her over breakfast. Love is your brother handing you the other controller when really, he would rather play alone. Love is your dog sitting alert at the end of the hallway because a car was passing by, or your cat curling up in the crook of your neck because that's the warmest spot. Sometimes I forget that there is value in loving softly. That just because someone is not shouting romantic poems at my windowsill or whispering lost languages in my hair, it doesn't mean that I am unloved. It does not mean that I am an outlier in a world that loves in the way that fright trains and gunfire and fireworks sound. There are plenty of people who love by leaving notes on the bathroom mirror, who love by sending you songs that they think you would like, who love by bringing you a cup of coffee simply because they were already in the kitchen holding your hand when you're scared, asking questions only when you feel like answering. Sometimes I still crave the pounding blare of a person loving me loudly, immensely. I imagine what it would feel like to be loved by someone who can drown out the sound of a whole city. But what I need is not someone who can be a surround sound system, but more like the coarse whispers of the wind through autumn trees. The gentle roar of the ocean as it pulls back only to crash once more against the sand. Someone who can live in the constant buzz of my daydreams and not get lost. Someone who can love me quietly and immensely all the same.